Hello everybody, welcome to another episode from Premier Aquatics. Today we're going to be feeding our fish and I'm going to talk to you guys what we feed on an average day at Premier Aquatics. We don't always feed all of these foods all at once or all on the same day, but I do really like a varied diet. And we're going to go through quite a lot of different foods, some tips for feeding and yeah, we're just going to crack straight on with it. So we'll have a closer look and I'll explain to you guys exactly what we've got here. Let's see what we've got. First of all, courgette. We feed this to all our herbivores, but mainly our L number plex, mainly ancestrous here at Premier Aquatics, but anything that will eat that, silver dollars, this is live bloodworm. We feed this regularly to things like our pea puffers and black ghost knife fish. A lot of the other more finicky feeders that will only eat live foods or something that's wriggling. You can see and we get this in for our customers every single week and we always have a ready supply for both our customers and ourselves at Premier Aquatics. Okay, this one is the green sticky tablet. They stick right to the front of the glass and the fish absolutely go crazy for these. Guppy mini granule this one is called. So this one is the smallest of the granules that we do. Uh, it's got red axisanthin colorants in, added in there and you can see it's a very, very relatively soft granule that the fish love. It's called guppy granule. It can be fed to absolutely anything but our guppies and small fish go. This one here is our colour flake. We feed this on a daily basis to all the fish at Premier Aquatics. Everything loves this. And yeah, you can see the beautiful coloration in there. Packed full of vitamins and minerals that everything needs to survive and thrive. This one is our larger medium colour granule. And as you can see, when you put it up against the guppy mini, mini granule, you can see the size difference there. This one, suitable for most tropical fish, most small community fish. We feed a good mixture of this and also the spirulina food, which we will jump straight over to there. And this one is a spirulina granule made with spirulina algae, perfect for herbivores. We like to mix these two together to give a good wide variety of food all in one feeding. Okay, this is our catfish pellet sink straight down to the bottom it's quite a tough pellet extruded pellet fish meal based and we feed that gets right down to the bottom feeders very quickly things like our hot plasternum and plex the bristle nose love munching on this and even can be even fed to shrimps and snails as well They'll all... this tablet here is one of our favourites. This is the brown bottom feeding tablet. The base of this food is mainly Daphnia and Gamera shrimp. Excellent meaty diet for the majority of tropical community tank fish. They absolutely go wild for this. The shrimps are all over it. Even our plex go absolutely mental when these are dropped into the tank. So good all round food. And as you can see, slightly smaller than the sticky tabs that we have. Let's see if we can just compare the size of those two. There we go, the green sticky at the bottom and the brown Daphnia based on the top. The bottom one's spirulina based, perfect for live bearers and uh, other herbivore fish. Okay, we're going to talk a bit about this one, the courgette. I'm going to show you how we prepare it, Premier Quas. It's very, very simple. Uh, we can use the end piece, but I find that they don't particularly like this end. Piece. So I just discard that, and then we'll cut a relatively thin slice. Something similar to that. Uh, and that is it. Simplicity itself. We don't need to wash it. Um, but that will just go straight into the tank. The only problem is, and this is something that comes up very, very regular in the shop, we feed our Plex this every single day. All our Plex tanks have this. 
and our bristle nose are often seen just uh, consuming this this cause yet uh, it does float so unfortunately you're going to have to find a way of sinking that and the simple answer that we use is a little bit of plant lead we have lots of premier aquatics just because we deal with a lot of aquarium plants but that's a piece of lead from an aquarium uh, plant and we just poke it through there and then I just fold that over and trap that just like that and that now will sink directly into your aquarium and be taken out in a day or two uh, if the fish don't consume it all please don't leave it in there till it rots and it will help pollute your aquarium and make the water quite grotty and, and definitely damage your water quality our plex because we've got a lot of them they'll eat a full piece of this overnight and then we we'll swap it out in the morning for a fresh piece but just be aware that this will go off slightly uh, quickly in your aquarium Okay, I'm going to take our blood worm and we're going to go and feed some fish. Okay, these are the candidates I'm going to use. I use a long pipette uh, with the hole cut at the end cut off slightly and I'll just suck up some of those blood worms as you can see. And we can just, you can see there, we can release them slowly and the Fish absolutely love them. These praycox rainbows, taking them almost out of the tip of the. And then, if we want to release more, we can send them down to the Bolivian rams that are living a lot lower down. Bolivian rams a little bit more cautious, but there you go. Look start to come in in a second but we can go back while they get excited and 